Hey, morning, David. Good morning, Sir. Hey, let's get started. Uh, I think it's just us for right now. Um, I had put up some agenda items I wanted to go through. Yep. I think among those agenda items, we can work through based on the audience, uh, work through some of the PRs that Rakesh has put up and assign them a milestone. Um, so I'm gonna jump through the order a little bit here, uh, but let me uh, share my screen and then talk through it first. Sure. Hey, Roy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let me see if I don't know if you guys can share my see my screen. Yeah, I can see your screen right now. Thanks. Great. So I put up a couple of agenda items which I thought uh, will help us uh, work. So this is the meeting where we talk about the project um, and less about the technical. But uh, at this point, there is definitely an overlap between the two. So uh, and with Rakesh here, I will jump through it. So basically, I think we need to get a notation release out sooner because of this issue, which has been there for some time. As long as we can just, just generate a new notation release, uh, I'm talking about the notation client release, this issue should fix itself. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit there. And I and I think this is, I mean, this is one of the top of mind things for me as well, because there's there's like quite a few in the, the notation uh, repo. There's quite a few PRs that are up there now that are actually all approved. And it seems like they just need to be merged. Yep. Um, and so I feel like, can we just merge all the ones that are like approved and and then and then cut the release i mean there's there's like a number of uh dependency updates uh and there's a few other ones but um i'd rather just kind of get it all in there yeah i agree with you i don't disagree with the as well if we all agree on that, um, we should, and this is just a separate notation release. It's not the alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, RC one. It is just a release of the notation client and yep. in just have directed release notes for it. Yep. So if we have alignment on that one, maybe we can hand take it offline uh, in the meeting. Uh, if Steve was here or Sergio was here, they will know the process more better than I as to all the steps we need to cross to, to do a release. So according, um, so according, according to Steve, because I talked to him yesterday evening. I mean, it's just, I guess, the process is you just file an issue that says, "Hey, we need to cut a release with this version," and then there's a, I guess, a thumbs up or something on that issue, and then we just cut the release, and that's it. Okay, if that is the case, let me see if we can handle that. First, uh, that will be the notation project, right? Um, right. There's also, yeah, so there's the notation project. There's also uh, the notation Go library. It has a number of PRs that are all approved as well. Uh, and I don't know, I mean, I know that's separate, but they're both, I think, in a similar kind of state where we need new releases for both of those. Can we do one without the other, or are they both a dependency and... Uh... Uh, you can do them independently, but I, uh, there's a need for both of them to have releases um, because what, what happens, and this is even what we're doing right now is like, you know, the, the dependent, the go dependencies for notation go, like people pin like specific commits versus releases, which is not, I mean, you can do that of course, but it's just not, it's not ideal, right? You want to, you want to ideally tag a specific version. Otherwise people are having to like, do some like searching and hunting on like which version of the library are we using kind of thing in the in github okay um all right so let's take one step first uh create a issue uh, uh I think no. it would be able to clone the existing one. Like there would okay. be, there should be an old closed issue already for last release. Yeah, there's there's this one. This doesn't have much information in it. That's why I was thinking of starting a new one. Uh, but yes, we had one uh, here uh, for the notation closed issue. Release notation. Yeah. 
So you're saying just clone this issue? We yeah, just clone the issue, update the information. Uh, where is the clone button here? Oh, there's no clone? Okay, I assumed there is a clone button. Uh, nope, my bad. I don't think there's a clone button. Uh, And I go to create a new issue. Where does it take me? Issues, open, issue. open a blank issue. No, it's a discussion. You have to open a blank issue here. I'm going to put the TBD version here, and I think recording it on this after release. And, and I'm going to put these here. And so do I, you see, uh, I, I do see someone that I haven't seen here before. This uh, is this Ily Ilya. Well, hi, yeah. it's Ilya Blocker. Yeah, uh, it's for the second time joining the call. Okay, welcome. Yeah, where where are you from? I'm dialing in from the UK. Okay. Okay, I'm submitting this. We will track this. Um, okay, let um, me move on to the next item. Uh, need additional members. Uh, so we need to assign uh, more members to it. If Steve was here, I think Steve had the permission here, but uh, should I just create an issue for this as well? And David, can I add you to as a member of this one? Just create an issue and have Steve take care of it offline. Sure. Okay, then I'm gonna go here, Notary project, create an issue. Oh, I can create an issue at the uh, main main level. Huh? No, but it has to be an original repository. Okay, I will just add a issue here, the notary project, because that's our default new issue. Create add new members to the. Samir, are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can. So. Uh, I'm I'm not sure which groups are used for what. I think it might be better to clarify. I was also asking for a code reviewers group. Okay, uh, no, this one was for the notary project admin, so we can uh, have uh, David uh, look at uh, triaging and managing some of the parts of the project roadmap. So, uh, okay, but I can show you what you're asking here. Uh, I look through all the groups we have today. Um, let me hang on. Discussions, where was that? I think that was in the teams. Here are all the teams. Um, notary project maintainers, we know who those three people are. Um, and then in the notary admin, uh, there is a sub team and that sub team is the team uh, which manages the project. And that's the team I'm adding, uh, or I'm requesting David to be added to, Notary Project. Okay, but, okay. I think for the... But there's not a separate team for uh, code reviewers. You're suggesting we should create a new team for code reviewers? Is that, is either that, that or have the maintainers have the existing maintainers be maintainers of the spec repository, which is Notary project, and have some of the implementers be maintainers of the implementation, which is the notation repo. Uh, I don't know generally how this is set up. That, that is one of my suggestions. And then that, that way we can have implementation PRs uh, not being blocked on uh, Steve, Niaz, or Justin. I like that suggestion. Uh, David, do you have any experience with that of splitting uh, implementation uh, maintainers versus uh, the spec maintainers? And would you suggest we, like, I want to follow whatever the convention is in the open source community? Yeah, I mean, I, I do think that uh, 
you know, you need to have an agreed upon group of kind of code code reviewer people, right? Because and I think that's where there's there's kind of some confusion and delays and such. Um, you know, not just on what how many approvers do we need, but just who who's allowed to to approve PRs. Because like I mean, for instance, right now I theoretically I well, not theoretically, I actually do have access to merge PRs, but I don't know if that would you know what I mean, if that's a that's a problem per se, right? So if you have a separate group, whether you call it maintainers or whether you call it code reviewers. I don't have a strong preference there, but I do have a preference that we have an agreed upon list of people that can merge that that can do code reviews and merge code, you know, merge PRs for, for code. Which which I think, you know, is separate than let's say you and I, Samir, who are primary responsibilities are more of project management. Um, release management roadmap, those those types of things. Yep. So let me propose the uh, same thing here so that we do we do both at the same time. Create a new group group for code implement uh, for code maintainers. Is that what you're uh we are looking for two groups here. Um, one code reviewers which can be a broader group because we need more reviewers. Uh, and a smaller group of notation maintainers who have merged permissions for PRs. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, for instance, like if Kim uh, would be a, an, a, you know, he put his appro approval on there, that would meet one of the policies to be able to merge. But let's say Kim wouldn't be able to merge directly. Right. That would that would be a specific goal, right? Yep. The group which can add and merge code peers, uh, implementation peers. Um, am I using the right words? I don't want to use words which. Super set. Is that, am I representing your uh, thinking correctly, uh, Milan? Uh, you can say notation maintainers instead of code implementers. Well, notation maintainers will be such a, uh, okay. That's fine, I can do that. Because notation is the client, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would say I would say to to have a group that's across the different projects uh, because I, otherwise it starts to get really confusing and like and there's so so much interdependencies uh, it I don't yeah I think those two are those two location maintainers and code reviewers okay so I'm submitting three requests. And I think we'll have to have the uh, current maintainers approve these, and then uh, and then get these created. Uh, mm -hmm. And can can we also agree on some members for these while we are here mm -hmm. together? <clears throat> so we can uh, put the names in there as well. I think for maintainers, I would say at least one or two from each organization. Um, I think for maintainers, I would put my name, uh, Shiwe's name, uh, David, you can yeah. propose an alternate. No, Shiwe is good, yeah. Let me get the names right, I don't, and then <clears throat> can you give me an idea of the above? Uh. So here it would be Shiwe, me, Rakesh, Mitesh, Kim. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, so this is a superset. I will go and clear those names. I will. I will find the exact aliases we have and then add them here. So yep. that care of that for right now. I think this is a good list to start with. Um, and for the code reviews group, we'll add as we go on. And yep. just to clarify, for spec, 
updates. We also have spec reviews. So for example, uh, Roy is giving approval there. Uh, I think that group doesn't need to be, we are, we are almost towards end of, like most of our spec activities are yeah, I think less so. act, like less blocking and less activity. So I'm, we can formalize that later. I want the implementation to be unblocked. Okay. So this is the proposal. Uh, let's have the current maintainers look at these. Uh, David, you can go back to Steve. Uh, Milan, you could go back to Diaz. And and Ilya, you can probably go back to uh, Justin saying this is, as we are close towards the end, we are pushing for this. So we already have, I mean, don't we already have the notation maintainers group? I think that's already. We have the maintainers group, yes. Uh, if you look at here, we have the, these are the following groups we have. Um, Right. So notation maintainers, it's not like we're asking for new groupers, asking to add people to it, right? Uh, oh, that's a good point. Notation maintainers is here already. Uh, so what now there's, only, there's only three people in there. So um, I see what you're saying. We can just use this group. This group was not being used uh, so far. Yeah. We and can... I would, and I also feel like the not, not, notary project dash maintainers seems unnecessary. This one, the project, this one? No, 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 not admin. But there's another group. Uh, maybe Bruce add this to the list of uh, remove notary dash project maintainers because I don't see a need. I mean, they're the exact same as notation maintainers, and I don't see a need to separate that at all. It's just more confusing. Okay. The notary project group might be because we have notary v1 and v2, and I think it's okay to. Oh yeah, I guess if you want to, yeah, I guess that's true for for the v1. Okay, that I mean that makes sense, and maybe we just need to clarify then. Say if if notary project maintainers is meant for v1, maybe we just rename it to notary maintainers versus notation to denote v1. Uh, notary project maintainers. No, this is the uh, this is for the new one. Notary project is for the new one uh, because look at the current membership. This is for the new one. This is for notary v two. Okay, uh, I think we can clarify with Steve. Uh, okay, so hang on. So what is the question there? Uh, we do want to separate maintainer group for notation specs, which are in notation project repository. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you want people that just are able to kind of approve, prove and review specs, uh, but not necessarily the code. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's can... fine. Yeah. We should just like clarify on the, I can, I can just update the description or something. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Once you have that notary project admin, you should be able to add those things in there. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we are agreeing to uh, add new members to this existing group create a new group for code reviewers, which will be a superset of this group and add David as a project admin. I'm submitting this issue right now. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so let's get a LGTM on these ones from uh, the maintainers and uh, the right thing from a process perspective and get these created. Um, uh, let me move back to my- One more edit on the code reviewers group, you can add Jonathan too. Oh, on the, okay, I can do that. And I'll go back and change uh, the specific aliases on this. Yeah, I think you had expressed an interest in getting involved with code. Do you think uh, we uh, you want to be a member of the code reviews group going forward, or want to wait on it after you get uh, more familiar with the project? That's fine. Who are you asking? Uh, Ilya, I think Ilya. Uh, he left. Yeah, I just rejoined. No, I, I rejoined the dropped. Um, yeah, yeah, no, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put my name down just yet. Uh, I need to to spend some time. Okay. Uh, familiar with the project, and uh, I haven't even started. I only managed to join this meeting. Okay, that sounds good. Second uh -huh. time now. So. Okay. So. Uh, so we've covered two of the items. Um, that I wanted to cover. Uh, and, and once we have that, we'll work on this. Uh, now, the last a couple of things uh, were, uh, we had clarified what we require for alpha three milestone last time. Uh, and I think we have a good list there with names assigned to it. 
I wanted to just go through the, uh, the RC1 and I gave it some thought <clears throat> about merging both of those milestones into a single milestone. And here's my proposal and see what you think of it, David. Uh, let's not spend cycles in merging and doing busy work. Let the alpha three milestone be there. We will track it to completion. We will just not announce alpha three as a separate release. We will just move on to announce just RC1 as the formal release. So alpha three will, will just be a milestone which becomes an internal milestone and it doesn't have an external delivery in terms of you know generating a release or release notes and going through the going through this ceremony to just think of it as an internal milestone on our way to RC1. And RC1 is where we do all the ceremonies and release notes. That's the <clears throat> proposal I have. So we don't have to do yeah the yeah like I said I'm I'm fine with like like I said I'm fine with that as long as we keep we keep releasing with something else yep. Yep. I mean alpha whatever I don't I don't care it's yeah fine. and what we will release will be as part of this that we just talked about already like we will release working code here and uh, the formal ceremony of the spec and all and uh, release we can differ and just do RC one combined okay. <clears throat> So um, the question I had there, Samir, is we're on track for the RC1 dates we, we agreed on, or are we going to slip, or are we, we're doing good? I, I think we are slipping from what I thought we were, because if I look at our task list, uh, which we have for completion, we have some, some things are starting uh, very late, uh, like towards the end of June. So I thought I had said, we want to be done by middle of June. At this point, middle of June looks not possible for me from where we from where we sit. Um, Still a thing in the back of my mind is I don't want to impact RC1, but I definitely would like to get cozy out there. And so as we're discussing this, just keep that in the back of your mind. Yep, yep. yep. <clears throat> so um, that's fair. OK, uh, moving on to the uh, last so notary project. So here, uh, I think Milan, I might need some of your help on this one. I think we have, uh, so this is the uh, ro static roadmap, which we rarely change. We only change when we sit together in a meeting and decide that's the right thing to do. Uh, so here were the items which were in, we have reviewed alpha three already uh, in the prior meeting. So this is for the RC1. Here, I think we had closed out our discussion on these two already about signature format criteria and release candidate signature format. I think we just need to put it in the spec, Milind, and I think we put your name against it. Are you still the best person on these two to uh, you know, just up, update the spec on these and document our criteria? Probably, um, probably me. I mean, anybody can pick this up. I don't think this will be, this will be done in RC1. I'm trying to prioritize ones which are really important for RC1. Okay. So release candidate signature format, we already have JWS spec being solidified. Yep. The format criteria, I think we have a fair understanding of it and uh, agreement that what the criteria should be. It yep. needs to be written down and that's again uh, kind of kind of like generally writing is hard getting getting everything done getting feedback and uh probably want to spend time on the criteria post rc1 okay yeah i think uh what you said is what we documented back in uh end of april um so you're suggesting uh this one is pretty much defined already uh, but uh from a process perspective can you point me to a spec where uh sure so there, we, there's, a, there's a pr which was merged and i can say yep this is uh the uh, no, the pr is still i did the pr just yesterday let me put it in chat i think i did start on that sometime but we had a dog which i wrote i think we i don't know we've got abandoned in between Okay, so MD if you want or the criteria. Yeah. Criteria. I just bring it on the I just share it on, on the chat. On the chat. Uh, I mean we did start on that. I don't think we didn't we didn't finalize and I went on vacation.
this is the this is for the signature format criteria, right? That's what you're talking yep. about. Yeah, yep. yep. How what should be format should be considered for evaluation? The criteria should be I can put this, but what I'm hearing from Milan is how does everybody else feel about this? Uh, that uh, we have already made a decision that RC1 is JWS, and we have this action item to also formalize our format criteria uh, for any subsequent uh, signature that we bring in, which is going to be cozy uh, pretty soon here, uh, if it meets all of our format criteria, which we think it, it does, but we'll compare it once it's formally written up. Um, so the submission of the uh, NCC Review is going into the Go Cozy repo today or or yesterday. Oh, nice. It's nice. With there. Uh, so can somebody else pick this up and then we can finish it in RC one, or should I just move it out of RC one into RC two at this point? My my suggestion is we don't have cycles to do that. That I I look at it as less critical work. So we are already making progress, and as in we. I think there's, we have agreement that COSI needs to be included. We set a criteria for it. Work is being done on that in the COSI envelope branch. Uh, probably the point at which we merge that PR, that may be a kind of a forcing function where we could say we, we can also clarify the criteria. I don't want to tie this specifically to RC1. Okay. For RC1, we already have JWS. This can go post RC1. I definitely do not want to threaten RC1. Okay, so let me just quickly move this to RC2, that this is a blocker for RC2. Uh, but once again, if we decide to play with having to slip dates and everything else, then- No, no, we are not talking about slipping dates because- Yeah, I mean, yeah that's why I'm, I'm saying, if I'm 100% in Malin's camp, if we start having to, to make decisions of moving things and everything else, then we'll have to revisit. Okay. I think yeah. the only thing I want to clarify there um, is that like, like RC1 scope is, I think we have general agreement that the scope is law. If we, if we say, R, even if RC1 dates slip and if we feel that we want to include COSI, that, that is additional work and that will, that will make RC1 slip further. So like I, I would I would hesitate to link additional signature formats with RC1. No, I think that's what Roy is saying. He he's also not linking it with RC1. But what he's saying is, let's say RC1 hypothetically is going to be next year, right? We don't want to wait till next year for bringing Cozy in. Then, right? I'm just making sure. a very weird example here, just to uh, agree with Roy's point of view here, saying. RC1 can be on, uh, you know, say June 15th and RC2 can be on June 20th, right? I'm just making it, making it up at this point. Right. Uh, but yeah, but <clears throat> this is not linked. Okay, CLI commands for verification and signing. I know that work is on our, is on our task list here. So I see that work, uh, that work has to complete. So I think that work belongs here. We don't have a name for these work yet. And I'm comparing uh, CLI commands for sign, verify, which are here. Uh, so once we have the names, we can I can assign those names there. Um, but we don't have names here for right now for those things. I think uh, I think some of these are in a weird state, as in there's there's uh, there's some implementation done in Alpha One, so we have signing command, and then Kim's update for plugin added the plugin based signing. So there's, so, it, so the, I think that this is one, and I think also the verify command is the, are ones which are not starting from zero. There's yep. some line work here, um, is required for RC1. We can, we, I, I don't think we, we have like refactoring and JWS specific uh, implementation to be done. We can revisit on assigning these later. Yeah, I agree. That's why because that's, that's why they are in progress column right now, and I understand that work is going on. Uh, this, on the other hand, I wanted to close uh, and say this doesn't belong in RC1 at this point uh, because the, uh, we are not going to be doing certificate config management using CLI commands. 
this will is just putting it in the right directory structure as we have agreed on. So this one, I want to defer in the future. What do you all think? I think that's at least that's that's my view as well. Both for the certificate, I think we should rename this to trust store management. And the other one, if you go back to the roadmap, yeah, the verification config. This is trust policy. So both of these are more complicated, and to implement the correct UX in CLI will take time. So proposal is to for this to be post RC1. That is what we have in the project plan. Yeah. But uh, other than sign and verify and other whatever basic foundational commands like login, authorization, whatever. Uh, besides those, we are deprioritizing all other commands. Some of them are getting implemented along the way, like plugin describe or plugin list, key list. Some of those got added. And we'll keep those, but the ones which require heavy lift need to implement from scratch. We'll not we'll not work on those. Yep. So verification config. You raised a good word. I think we think if think it in terms of trust policy now, right? So uh, so let me put that word word here. Uh, so here's what my is, what is certificate uh, management? Con uh, certificate config management. What is this config? Oh, yeah, this one at one point. So when we remember, Pratish, when we were thinking about this back in September, October last year, we said we'll have CLI commands to add a certificate uh, or to remove a certificate. But now we are following a directory based structure of putting the root certificates, it's, which we chain up so, to. No, it's for signing operation or verification operation. Uh, like, this is this is just going into the trust store. So it is, it is independent of that. For verification, as in to be linked with trust. Then, we can just mark a duplicate of other one, like 30 is duplicate of 39. No, I think it's fine tracking it separately. We haven't figured out what the user experience is here. I mean, it's the same task, right? How you can manage trust policy. Uh, you can do edits to trust policy without touching trust store. Yeah, but CLI commands. Yeah. So 30 is essentially a duplicate of 39 then. Mm, no, I see them. Uh, let me, okay, let's just look at them one by one. So that uh, you, you basically have commands. And again, I'm saying we, we are, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We haven't figured out the correct UX for this. Uh, you may have separate operations for trust store management and separate operations for trust policy management. Can we name it trust, trust store then? Just to avoid yeah. the confusion. I can do that. Just like I added trust policy to the other one. And, uh, Samir, if you can remove the older, so, so just do CLI commands for trust store management. Same for the other one, remove the verification yeah. config wording. I can do that. Uh, I'd like to do CLI commands for trust store management. Roy, I, David, I hope you guys are following on this one, right? We have simplified, uh, this was, work we are doing, but we're just doing the work in a different way versus using CLA commands. No. So now, uh, because for RC1, we are using the directory structure in the trust policy <clears throat> using the JSON, JSON file schema. These two don't belong in RC1. So may I propose we just put them as future and uh, and just not even have them tracked for RC1. So is that going to require us to make any documentation changes or you think we're covered there too? It shouldn't require, well, we'll have to generate the documents any which way as to how to uh, use the directory structure or how to uh, use the JSON file for trust policy management. So that will get covered there in my opinion. David, you got any other comments? I have, have no problems if we have it already one way to do this. It seems natural, and I'm fine with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay, <clears throat> so then let me uh, just mark these as future, uh, and then come back as to when we want to support it through CLI. Um, 
Okay, uh, let's see what else is left in. So this is in progress, as we know. Uh, Milan, I'm leaving this release candidate signature format once we close the PR. And I think, did you give me the PR? Uh, yeah, it's the first. Uh, yeah, signature spec updates. So once you, once this PR gets closed, we can close this. I just want to, because we are talking about PR, I, I put a message there pinging all the reviewers. And there are almost five, six reviewers uh, on that PR. I'm, I'm trying to get that PR in. There's quite some feedback and we need to get this into unblock implementation. Uh, Roy, you have, you've given some feedback, Rakesh, Pratesh, um, Shive, I got approval from Kim, um, just calling that out. Okay, yeah, actually I, I have an action item to go and look at the open PRs uh, given time today. I think we'll have some time for it. Here are the other things uh, that we had uh, <clears throat> uh, for uh, RC1. Um, I think at this point, uh, none of these I believe is a showstopper for RC1 and then, in, and in, the spirit of trying to get uh, our cust uh, our broader community have a working version of uh, the notation client. Uh, tell me which one of these you think is a showstopper, including these for RC1. I'll let you guys look at these. I would I would say uh, the I feel like the test case automation for the CLI um, would would be a I mean a pretty big deal, um, and that should to some capacity, right, test the underlying APIs. Um, you know, so if I had to pick one, that would be, that would be it, the top one there, number 47. Oh, number 47. <clears throat> and Millen, yeah, I- Because that's what people, that's what people are gonna use. And so, I, I mean, I don't know, to me that's, I think yeah. we have it in as, uh, yeah, where, where is it on the spreadsheets? Yeah, I'm looking at um, it, uh, test case, uh, integration test, yeah. We don't have a assigned name on it. Um, yeah. Who can pick this up at this point? So it's still open. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that's that's pretty important for RC1. Um, okay. Because, okay. because uh, you know, if you don't test the APIs, it's, it's it's not the end of the world, um, but if the CLI like if the CLI commands stop working, um, I, I think that's going to pay benefits even immediately um, as we continue to iterate on all the versions of the underlying libraries, and then we have some level of assurance in automated fashion that the the commands will work right. I mean, which is what we need for RC one. I don't disagree. Let's. Uh, I'm aligned with David on this one. Anybody else has a different view of which one of these must stay here for RC1? I agree with the testing. Is it the only one? No, there are four more here, and the which we had decided yep. in our wisdom. I wondered I, whether David thinks any of the others are. Well, so I would just say that we need to, we need to like the top priority is that we need to agree on what are the key like notation CLI commands that we want to like certify that are working in RC1. And that's what we should have test case automate to, yep. for. And I'm fine with, you know, if we don't have bandwidth to wait on the API test case automation till later, um, because ultimately people, aren't going to be manually hitting the API. They're going to be using the CLI commands to do work. And if all of that works, then that has some level of assurance that the APIs that are attached are functioning. So the so. APIs are being, we are writing unit test as we do implementation. So I think other than like end-to-end -end integration tests with the API, that's probably hasn't been a focus, but we have. Unit right. Test for the libraries. Okay. The, may, can I, may, may suggest this if we are writing unit test, and uh, this could be uh, uh, part of the unit testing, unit test cases, APIs. Yeah. In progress by the implementers. 
yeah there's yeah so i think all the apis should have unit tests uh which i i think we have to some capacity at different degrees on there um I, I guess it's up to us if we really want to have some bar of code code coverage or anything like that um but i i would say for like an end-to-end -end test for apis i don't i don't think we need that in rc1 okay so can i just call it CLIs, uh, if the clis are exercising these kind of the variations in the commands with all of the different switches and therefore exercising the api then yep. yeah that should be good coverage yeah yeah Okay, how about I just call it unit test cases on this one and say for this yep. reason, we focus on unit test cases. Sure. Uh, Milan, Rakesh, what do you guys think? Uh, is this Rakesh, do you have any feedback? Not this, looks good. All right. Okay. The so, intention was to have an intuition test for that. Do we want to rename that or do you want to just postpone that and mark it in future? We will come back to it any which way, but I'm trying to document what we are doing. So I think what we're doing is this, I can create a separate one for end-to-end -end automation in the future. Uh, but at this point, I'm trying to see what we are doing that we can uh, finish. So this is in progress by oh, the- wait, but why are we changing the description of the issue? We can just move it out of RC1. We could, I'm just but I, we could definitely do that as well. Uh, I was thinking uh -huh. that because we are doing unit testing that's a victory to claim and i'm putting that here so that okay. everybody reviewing it can see that we are at least have unit test case automation going in i think somebody said he'll create another issue to oh, yep. okay i'll create an, another issue for future yep mm -hmm. all right uh these two what are people's thought on build sign push workflow api implementation uh this one i think it's for local signing where you don't have to push the image to repository to generate manifest and things like that yeah, this item is to sign before push and then push the image. I don't think so. This is something we're doing for RC1. Yeah, this is not in scope for RC1. You can rename it to, uh, I forget what we called it. Local signing? Yeah. No, just don't 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 rename it local signing. It's confusing. <laughs> well, they discussed about yeah, that. Local it... signing, offline signing. I mean, it's about keys then. We're talking about keys. I mean. This I think there's, good there's, there's, um, I would rename the issue saying sign sign locally without registry or some, something like that. That that makes it clear that there's, there's no registry dependency on the site. No, sign, okay. Let me see. Sign without. Or just a sign before, sign before push. Yeah, sign. I think that's what we put sign before push here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think just uh, yeah, uh, sign in the heading. Before push. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Roy and uh, David, like this was the one we said that <clears throat> today the image has to be in the re registry for the manifest to be generated and then we sign the uh, manifest. Here, what we are saying is that uh, even before the image is pushed to the registry, we can sign it locally. I think we have talked about it multiple times that this is not an RC1. Uh, may I push it into the uh, future beyond RC2? Yeah. yeah. Log on, um, I think. I think I remember the conversation that that we just didn't make it for RC1, but this is more a question for Steve has to sign off on, and he's off the rest of the week until Monday. So. Okay. Yeah, I would. I mean, if you want to put it for now at RC2, I think it's okay. But I, yeah, I think we should have get steve's feedback on that let's 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 do that let me put this okay <clears throat> okay uh you know that uh last case what was notation CLI to support tag to digest translation so this was again a cli command thing we wanted so that users have a quick way for the CLI to go and you know query the registry and come back and say, here's the uh, tag to digest translation. Uh, I don't, we- I, I need more clarification required here. There's, uh, I would keep this item for now. Uh, there's, I think some of the feedback, um, Kind of 
for security oriented feedback was in certain flows to force users to provide digest instead of tags. Uh, but there isn't an easy way for end users to get the digest. So push, get the digest instead of tag and pass it to notation. There's some discussion to be had here. I, I, wouldn't, I would just keep this item. We should revisit it. Okay, we can revisit it as we come closer. Uh, it's anyways not in progress. Nobody's working on this from a CLI perspective. Okay, the last one was this one. Uh, I think uh, this is again, I can mark it for Steve to look at, but at this point, uh, we are not working on uh, this uh, fallback method or... Uh, I think we agreed that this is post RC one. There needs to be a spec for this. There is yeah. a spec owner for this. So how about this? I also do the same thing here and mark it for Steve uh, saying, Steve, is this beyond RC2 at this point? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I think our static roadmap update is complete. Um, and here is what we are left with uh, for RC2. And if you guys remember, we finished alpha three before. So I think we are in good stead and everything has a name, name to it in all of these, uh, except for these for which we said we will talk to Shivi about and uh, we couldn't talk. I, I forgot to talk to Shivi on Monday, but I'll talk to Shivi about these two when we talk to him next. So we're looking good on our uh, you know, the roadmap that we agreed on and working towards it. The last things I wanted to cover was go through the open PRs and the specific repos and ensure alignment. Uh, so for the benefit of everybody, let's focus on where the most work is happening, which I believe is happening in the notation repo where there are lots of open PRs. Uh, and uh, do we need any help on these from anybody today? So so I think uh, the big, I guess, uh, one one question is is for things that are just dependency bumps. Uh, <clears throat> what what level of review do we do we need to have? I mean, obviously, if we had our end end test, then it would be easier. But um, as a group, what do we? What's our our current stance today on this? Because this is going to continue to happen. Right now, we've got four in the queue. I don't have a strong thought on this. Milan, Rakesh, what do you guys? So, um, again, I haven't experienced this much, but I think uh, my view is let's let's wait for some of the refactors to happen. We are also moving dependencies, like we're trying to move most of the crypto dependencies into notation core, uh, register auras, et cetera, all the dependencies moving into notation and CLI being a thin wrapper. So these dependencies will change and we can revisit the kind of depending ones. What, I, what I'm not clear about how the dependency bot works is as the code evolves and older, if dependencies change or get updated as part of development, do, do, these, do these get updated by the bot, go away, or we have to manually resolve each of them? Does anybody have an idea there? Okay, for, for now, I would say we'll revisit this once the post refactoring, once the code base is more stable. Okay, uh, but that's here what I- Yeah, that's for the dependency part ones. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I think, I don't know, my my gut is uh, uh, like, if if I, you know, put my hat on here, uh, you know, I would think about risk of the, the, the bumps um, and what is it, what is it touching? So like, if it was me, I would just merge probably the top three because those are like not touching all the stuff that you're concerned about, but the bottom one, I would, I would be weary of. And because that touches a lot of different things with what we're doing, um, you know, so, so if it's, if it's dependency updates that are intra-repo or that are tight, tightly integrated, 
um, then yeah. And in fact, I, I'm actually really kind of curious why we're even using the CLI for Docker dependency. Um, and, and the other two, it's, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so maybe for these ones, we need to have the person who's most familiar with the Docker CLI being, being Shiva on the call. So we parked this one for that. Uh, but among the other ones here, does anybody need any help from somebody on the call they want to do a call out on before I move to the next repo? So the, the plugin config one is a fix. Uh, so that one I don't think will be very hard. It's, uh, it's just, Pim just did it four hours ago, but it actually fixes a problem. Um, so that one would be good to get a quick review on. And so is the second one, uh, it's a minor refactoring here. Uh, it wouldn't take uh, a notation to go crypto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. So I think, Bill, you will drive the first one to completion, and David, you will drive the second one to completion. Like, look at CV or somebody else, like Quinn, look at this and say, hey, let's approve these. Dependencies board, let's skip it. A directory structure spec, uh, I think this Shiva said is still work in progress. He's still collecting. Yeah, I think Shiva said he addressed most of the feedback. I'm yet to take a look. Uh, I mean, it really depends on who else wants to take a look. I see some feedback from Steve, uh, me, Pratesh. That's about it. Some feedback from Kim. This is this is pretty important. Yep. As in, once we start implementing, like, like some of, some of the changes would actually be breaking. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the directory. I feel like the directory such structure spec based on the comments and the na and the nature of it. I'm not sure we're gonna we're gonna align uh, now. So I don't. I'm not sure that's gonna make this whatever temporary release we have. Um, but right. yeah, that's not gonna, yes. That's yeah. Gonna, but I think, uh, but if I look at, if I look at this, I mean, I, I'm hoping we could merge the plugin, big parsing, notation, go crypto utils, the URFA CLI, the go releaser, the Docker CLI. Uh, and then I think that's it. David, can you, uh, like once you become the project admin and all, can you drive that release and uh, chase down whoever we need to chase down to get these PRs approved? I don't think the release, uh, which ones of these are blocking the release? I think we heard, right? We want to do the anything with the registry uh, or the uh, GoLib and the CLI, both of them. So this one, uh, is blocking it, uh, of course, any of the... Um... So the dependency bots, I would, if Shiva can help here determine those those top three, how they need to be resolved, David, that will help. Uh, for the plugin config parsing, I'll take a look at that. The second one, 180 by Rakesh, I don't think that is a blocker, but it's probably a small one. I don't want the release to be held up. Have we identified who, who will cut the release? I, I mean, I'm fine to do that. It's, we have a, we have the, the releaser action, go releaser action. Um, and so for that one, I mean, I'm, I'm fine to personally <laughs> merge the dependency update. And if the release doesn't work, then I'll fix it. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't okay. expect any problems, but yeah. Okay, let me move to the next repo. Um, Notation Go that has a very just one PR on it, which are, now there's two. Uh, okay, dependency on this one. Rakesh, do you need Shiva's help on this? Have you called him out on it already? Uh, I think I got an approval from Kim already. Okay, this is waiting on Milind. Okay, good. And the last implementation one I'm going to go to is notation core go. Is there anything in here? There's one pull request. Uh, 
who needs to review this one? There's a lot of activity going on. Okay. Uh, so we've covered the three the project as well as the spec we have in there. Oh, just 10, wow. Okay, so this is the one we talked about. Uh, yeah. So the second one, that that gets resolved by the by the by the first one, the review comments one forty eight from VWS. Okay. I think right now the priority is just the first one. Um, and this one, add requirements for trust policy management, right? No, these are these are older. We we're not chasing. So can we just them remove them out of the way? Like what? Let me just. Can I archive them or something? Um. Label. Uh, can I mark them won't fix or something? I don't wanna. David, what are you saying? If these are the old ones from like, we can look at the dates on these ones. We're not tracking these. Is there any? Uh, I don't know. I mean, are those? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know if those those issues have been resolved. I mean, like for instance, okay, the signing key expiry uh, or signature expiry. Like, do we have an answer for those? I think we do. We clarify them in the signature spec. Uh, there are some others like the attack controls, uh, attack scenarios that probably need to be there as, as a kind of updating uh, threat model. Okay, so I guess uh, we can't resolve these at this point. So let, yeah. let's focus on this first one for right now. This is the important one, right? Why is this at RC1? Strongly marked in RC1. If I can I mark it in RC2? I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Who marked it in RC1? Uh, Yeah. All right, uh, I think we made a, a lot of progress. I have some action items to follow. I think we heard about who has to follow on their PRs to drive it to closure. Uh, we created two new issues, uh, one for doing a notation release and the other for uh, adding and editing membership. Uh, so let's chase both of them down and we can sync on Monday. Oh, actually, Monday we are not meeting, or are we meeting on Monday? What what does everybody's schedule look like? It's, it's a holiday, so <laughs> so we are meeting then. I'm huh? no, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. Uh, would vote for no if we're <laughs> yeah, for all of us. Yep, I would. I would uh, say no. Say no. Okay. All right, then I think we'll uh, meet in person or in meeting. Uh, next Thursday then, same time, and let's follow up the action items over, over the Slack channel. Yep, sounds good. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.